me more about the company's new campus that's coming to RTP. The side of the company's East Cost Hub is massive. It's around 280 acres off 540 near Highway 55. Tonight, CBS 17's Galat Malaman is digging deeper into the company's timeline and the build's potential traffic impact. Galat. We're along Little Drive, just north of 540, and right now there's really nothing to see here. I mean, it's so dark, you could really barely see the trees, so still a long way to go before an Apple Hub is here, but we finally know when it might be built. You're looking at what will one day be Apple's East Coast Hub, located in Research Triangle Park. It's really going to change the area in that there will be lots of cottage industry and ancillary benefits when Apple comes to town. For the first time, we have a sense of when Apple will come to town. CBS 17 obtained a copy of a traffic impact analysis for the site that says build-out is expected in 2026. Well, initially, it goes by fast, right? 2021, we were you know, excited about it. We were Governor Cooper's announcement. And then two years go by, you don't really hear anything. And then all of a sudden, you hear rumblings. Each document filed is one step closer to the campus becoming a reality. And for Morrisville Council member Steve Rao, it's quite exciting. Apple promised more than three. 3,000 new jobs. But with that will come 5,550 new car trips a day, according to the traffic study. How do you make sure that that doesn't become a traffic nightmare? Well, it has been a traffic nightmare for many years. Morrisville Mayor TJ Cauley says commuter traffic is already a problem in town. He hopes plans for a bridge over NC-54 at McCrimmon Parkway and at Airport Boulevard will help. We're doing everything we can with intersection improvements and trying to change things a little bit. And up near the campus, we are going to do some improvements on Davis Drive. The traffic impact analysis also has several recommendations for intersection and lane improvement. We compared new site plans we obtained submitted to the county in September to ones from May. Both plans say there will be three office buildings, three accessory buildings, and close to 900,000 total square feet. I'm just glad that Apple has chosen this area. We're lucky to have them nearby. As for traffic, Mayor Cauley hopes that a plan to widen NC-54 would help with that. That is a state DOT project, and right now there is no estimate of when construction could begin. Rod, Angela, back to you. So, Galan, beyond the documents, which it's a lot of documents, mm -hmm. what else do we know about this project? Is Apple actually saying anything? As one Wake County commissioner put it to me, Apple is a very tight-lipped company, and that's why those documents are so key. I did reach out to the local attorney who filed those documents on Apple's behalf. They referred me to an Apple spokesperson in California who I have not heard back from yet. I also reached out to Research Triangle Park, and the spokesperson here tells me that they signed a non-disclosure agreement so they cannot comment on this. Live at RTP, Gilad Malamed, CBS 17 News. Yeah.